Coming up on Look Today, the Code Blue shelter in Saratoga Springs will have a new permanent home. I've got details. And the Chapman Museum in, in Glens Falls will host an exhibition on Stoddard's The Atlantis Photography Series. More on that coming up. And the Adelphi Hotel in Saratoga will hold an auction this Sunday to help benefit local charities. I've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone and happy Friday. I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. On well, tonight's program, I sit down with Kevin Ankeny. He's the professor, he is a professor at SUNY Adirondack and member of the People's Pixel Project. And he's here to talk about the film festival that's happening on April 30th. I also sit down with Mayor Joanne Yepsen of Saratoga and she's here to talk about highlights from the State of the City Address and goals for 2017. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the Code Blue Shelter in Saratoga Springs will have a new permanent home. And with a show of tr true generosity, the community has come together to make this possible. Lisa and Ed Mitson, Mike Ingersoll, the LA Group, and Sonny Bonaccio are some of the people who are contributing to make this project happen. The location for the building has not yet been determined, but we did speak with director of the shelter, Mike Finacci, about the collaboration within the community. It's kind of a sigh of relief. You know, we have our own building now. We, we you know, we're not in anybody's backyard but my own, so to speak. Um, so not only does it ease you know, the, the burden off of us and the pressure off of us, but it actually puts the homeless population at ease too because they know that they're going to have a permanent location. That's great. In other news, well, the Chapman Museum in Glens Falls will continue its exhibition on Stoddard's Adventures, something called the Atlantis. Julian Mulder will present an illustrated lecture about Seneca Ray Stoddard's multi-year trip up the Atlantic coast. You ready? In a canoe. That's happening February 21st. That's this Sunday at 1 p.m. We spoke to Jillian about Stoddard's exhibition. The idea of doing this journey, but instead of going south, he was going to go north. And so he decided to go from Glens Falls and go around New York City and just follow the eastern coastline up to Nova Scotia. Switching from news to weather. Well, today's a beautiful day. Sunshine, temperatures in the 30s. Let's see how the weekend is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thank you, Jesse, and happy Friday to everybody. We're going to continue to watch a little bit more pleasant weather, more mild weather heading into the weekend. As we jump into our first look weather center, we're still seeing high pressure weekly in control off to our north, but another warm front. That's good news for us. It will be slipping its th way through over the next 24 hours. It will be followed up by a cold front that's not really going to impact the temperatures a whole lot, just the overnight temperatures. We'll get a few degrees cooler, and we'll keep mild weather through the afternoons. We can still see high pressure barely hanging on across portions of Canada. We'll still see some cloud cover ahead of this next approaching front. And as that pushes our way, we will be watching temperatures coming up pretty nicely heading into the daytime tomorrow, but still a chilly morning with lows back down the teens. In fact, across much of the tri-north counties, temperatures ranging between 12 to 16 overnight, mostly cloudy skies. The good news is we'll see light winds, so wind chill not a huge factor by morning. And then we're going to see that south wind take control behind the warm front of high reaches 42 on Saturday, and we'll see those skies clearing back out, especially as we go through the morning. That's when we'll begin to see clearing in earnest. Still a very chilly start, 16 to 20, but good news is temperatures will come up quickly by the time we reach lunchtime. You can see the streak of 40s stick around with us through Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll get a little bit cooler heading into early next week. Monday, a daytime high about 38 degrees, and then 40s move back in again on Tuesday and Wednesday, and really not much way in the way of wet weather as we head through the next week as well. Well, that's it from the weather report. Now let's get back to you, Jesse. Well, thanks, Brent. Boy, we in for some nice weather for the holiday. Back to the news. Well, the Adelphi Hotel in Saratoga will hold an auction this Sunday to help benefit 
local charities. The auction will include antique furniture used from the historic Adelphi Hotel. Now, the Adelphi Hospitality Group hired professional auctioneer Ralph Fontaine to help sell approximately 40 pieces of furniture. Proceeds will benefit a local Saratoga Springs charity which has not yet been announced. We invited the new owners of the hotel for an interview next week and we'll keep you posted. Up next, I sit down with Kevin Anke. He's a professor at SUNY Adirondack and a member of the People's Pixel Project. He's here to talk about the Films Festival happening April 30th. I also sit down with Mayor Joanne Yepsen of Saratoga and she's here to talk about highlights from the State of the City Address and goals for 2017. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. It's Friday. So, of course, I want to thank the crew. Ladies first, Antoinette and Dana, but Andrew and Drew, Jack and Joel, and Norm, who make this show possible each week. A uh, very busy weekend, Dance Flurry in Saratoga. We've been talking about it all week. You've got to check this out. It's just a blast. And also, the Lake George Winter Carnival is in full swing. They've got some snow and a bunch of activities going on up there. So have a great weekend. And also, of course, we uh, have Monday off in typical Look Media fashion. When one of us takes a day off, we all take the day off. So we will not be here Monday, but we will be filling the schedule with episodes of Tracks. And by the way, we are starting to edit a new Tech Talk program. And also next Sunday, we will be recording four new artists for tracks. And uh, last but not least, I mentioned it yesterday, I'm going to uh, mention it every day for a while. We are now posting our interviews on Facebook. And there's also an opportunity for you to respond and tell us what you think about the interviews and also the question of the day. All right, everybody, have a safe holiday weekend. We're going to have some great weather. It's beautiful out there. Tonight on Look TV, it's tracks and beyond the headlines. And then don't forget, tune in Tuesday night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.